what do you have to have? Like what ducks in a row do you have to have to, to get into Mexico to go on a hunt? So let's say you've made your contacts, you've, mm-hmm. you're, you're going on a hunt in Mexico. What's the process like of actually going to Mexico? So did you drive down? I drove. Yeah. I prefer to drive. Okay. I've done that. So I've flown twice and driven all the other times. Uh, I've flown three times, driven all the other times. So I've driven more than I've flown. I much prefer that. Bring all your gear. Don't got to worry about anything. So you have a, you know, all your own stuff. You clear customs at the border. Are you using easier. your own vehicle on your hunt mostly? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, not not on the hunt because I'm hopping yeah. in a high rack. High rack. But mm-hmm. I'm using my vehicle to to get there. Gotcha. You know? And that's what you touched on home. before too, right? You have to register said vehicle. If yeah. you're bringing a four-wheeler, it, it all has to, to be. Registered. So to start from the top, you, passport, obviously. I mean, that goes without saying. Gun permit, which is they are wildly um, protective of guns ammo and what they allow into the country and what comes out at the same time. So, you know, Mexico gets a really bad rap of like this, this lawless place, right? Well, marijuana is illegal and, and it might be illegal elsewhere. I can only speak on Sonora cause that's where I go. Um, illegal. You can't bring alcohol across the border. You get a hundred rounds and it has to match the gun you have mm-hmm. your gun permit for 365 days. You're allowed two guns on a single gun permit. It'll last you 365 days. Are you buying a gun permit or is that just something, just paperwork? It comes through. You have to apply for it through the Mexican is government. Is there a fee associated with that? I think it's nominal. Okay. It's very small. Okay. Um, but this is the other thing of why you go with a Phil or a J. They, is because they, they know all that. They have all this. It's like, oh. it's immediate. You say you want to go. They send you this. You fill it out. You send it back to them. They apply. It comes back to you in text form, like not even handwritten, like literally text form. So there's no misrepresentation of, you know, the gun serial number, the ammo, the, the optic serial number. So they're, they're super protective and it is stressful because you cannot mess up a single anything and you're allowed a hundred rounds, hundred rounds per weapon that you, and you're Great allowed two on a gun permit. I hope I'm making sense here. Yeah. So mm-hmm. two guns on a single gun permit, it'll last you the whole year. You're allowed a hundred rounds of each of those guns mm-hmm. and it has to match the, the, caliber itself if you are caught down there you know i use the term caught Stuck. however you want to stop mm-hmm. down there <laughs> with a ra- with a round that does not match the caliber of gun on your permit. gun permit yep. you're not bringing ammo for another it's not good another we'll gun just leave it at that it's not good you're going to be <laughs> yep. dealing with some shit i'm not telling you sure. again they get a bad rap that you're you know yeah. going to prison it's not like that but you it's going to eat up a lot of your time and it's going to eat up a lot of it's going to create a big enough headache that you don't ever want to do it again because they have to work through why you have that round, what you mm-hmm. were doing, go through all your stuff. They are highly protective over guns and ammo down there. We'll, we'll throw a slight twist in there. So when I went to Mexico with Jay and that coos deer hunt in 2013, I only took a bow. Yeah. And taking a bow across there was the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, they don't I, care much for bows. I didn't have to do, I still had to like do some sort of what weapon I'm taking, the arrows, but I did not have to do the hard security checkpoint. I have to get through there. I didn't have to go to the military area. Yep. It was just like, oh, you have a bow? They kind of like laughed. Like, They're like, you're what the are only, you doing? Like, one of the rare guys would just take a bow to Mexico. And it was yeah, like, not a lot of people process. do that because no. the chances of. <laughs> I, got, I got made fun of a lot taking a bow to a gunfight. But like, yeah. yeah, the bow hunting. Bow, I mean, you could bow hunt in November, December for sure when they're coming to water. Mm-hmm. Um, but like this time of year, man, I don't know how you did that to this day. <laughs> yes, it is just wild. And the bucket killed. crazy to me. Um, so how long are you at the border when you go through? How, how long hour. is that? Pro- an hour? Yeah. And it's pretty quick? Super quick. They, they kind of yeah, know the a, There is a real strategy of border crossing, though. Very much so. So the strategy that we have employed the last so many years we've been driving down is get to the border the second it opens. And they all have opening times. So depending on what port of exit or entry you're going through, there is an opening time. And get there five minutes before it opens. Is there a line? So every time I've done that, I wouldn't say there's a line, but there are other cars, maybe a handful, yeah. but not a line. Um, if you and, hit it midday, there's a line? Oh, there's a line. It gets back Depending up. on, again, depending on the crossing. There are some crossings gotcha. that are like pretty secret, so to speak. I shouldn't say secret, but like not a lot of reason for not as vehicle traffic. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's, there's a strategy there. Get there the second the border opens. It'd be very easy. Military the Mexican military and police get there at the same time. The U S officials get there. Everyone shows up at the same time. So you kind of have like each department there, like ready for you and not, not a line where they're all spread out. So there's a big strategy in that. 
um, and then having your paperwork there. So with vehicles, what we were getting to is you have to have the original paperwork. It cannot be copies of the vehicle. It has to be original. Um, title? Not not title. That can be copy. Okay. Original uh, insurance card or, or registration. Hmm. So, so insurance res- registration has to be the original, cannot be a copy. Hmm. And that's what will grant you access with your vehicle in there, and they will document it. Um, and then as you travel through Mexico, there will be, like I've said multiple times now, they are very protective over weapons and ammo. There will be multiple checkpoints. Every time I've done it, I've hit multiple checkpoints, military stops. In Mexico. In Mexico, where they will, you will pull over because they know you have a lot of gear in your truck because you'll they'll pull through, they'll see all your gear. And Cazadores is hunter, means hunter, so they'll, they'll say Cazador, and you'll pull off to the side, and they'll just, because they know you will have some type of weapon, right? And they will check all your weaponry, your permission, your uh, gun permit, and they will call back to the border to make sure that you were crossed, it's legal, and then they, you're mm-hmm. good, you're traveling. And so it'll happen, and it's not like, you know, I love my wife to death, and but she would probably be a little shook up about that. I actually like it. Sure. I mean, it makes me feel more safe, yeah. right? That that the right Mexico gets this horrible rap. And are those just standard checkpoints? Or standard. Are, are you're standard not, you're checkpoint. not getting pulled over. No, you're not standard, getting red you're and just, blues. No, you're pulling through. Like everyone on that highway is, is going through that through, checkpoint, and they'll see, you know, that you're a hunter with mm-hmm. a bunch of gear. They'll say Cazador, and then they'll check your coolers, and they'll check your gun permit and they'll call back and make sure you cross the border legally and that was checked in so are they checking your easy. other gear are they looking through your backpack are they looking through your coolers are they, they check with like magnets and something else for ammo that's what they care that's about. it ammo is what they care about gotcha 